Daniel, is it not the most wonderful time of the year? Uh, yes, it is, except that uh, it's very cold right now. Absolutely, and it's only getting colder. But I know what's going to make it warmer. All of you all dressed up in all of your costumes. Let's get excited for Halloween! <laughs> now, as you know, I am rest. And so I, uh, I do look forward to vacations. Daniel, what's your favorite ever vacation? Uh, doing my homework in my home. My goodness. Unfortunately, this is evidence that people do lie. Uh, so, I have gone on a little trip. I have brought some things with me. I have my Bible here. Ha ha ha. I have my, uh, my money. And I have my, uh, my passport. So I'm ready to go. So, let's see. What's your favorite country that you've visited, Daniel? Uh, I visited only one country, which is the United States of America, but I liked uh, New York the best. Aha! Uh -huh. New York. I was actually born in New York. Mm. That is not a lie. Unlike everything that comes out of Daniel's mouth. He's probably been to every country, and he's just not telling you. Now, this afternoon, we will be visiting many different countries. We will be visiting the wonderful world of Disney. If you are a Disney character, make a noise! I guess that includes Mickey Mouse's friends, Wreck-It Ralph, Zootopia. We've got a lot of Disney represented, a lot of Disney's billions of dollars. Uh, if you are a Pororo character, make some noise! If you are one of the Greek gods, make some noise. Let's see. If you are one of the six days of creation, make some noise. And if you are one of the characters from the Despicable Me franchise, courtesy of Illumination Entertainment, because that is not Disney, make some noise. All right, I think that's pretty much everybody. Let's get on with the show. First up, we've got, oh, well, no, Mr. Uh, oh, and Mr. Chris. He's got the Mr. Chris universe, the MCU. If you are a member of the MCU, the Mr. Chris universe, make some noise. Very good, very good. All right, so first off, we have just the general gamut of movie characters. It's class one with Miss Joyce. Come on up. <laughs> All right, first up, it's Sue as Peter Pan. So you can go next. Well done, Peter Pan. I hope you grow up someday. Who have we got next, Daniel? Next is Kaon with Mario. It's me, God. Where is Luigi, Mario? All right, here we have the God of Thunder. Israel is Thor. <laughs> Who have we got here, Mr. Daniel? Oh, uh, we have James with Pika Pika Chu. <laughs> I think he's defying physics as we speak. I don't know if he spent too much time in the sun or he is the sun. All right, and here we have Miss Joyce as the lovable snowman, Ola. Oh, <laughs> 
Very convincing snowman. It may not be November yet, but I'm feeling the cold. All right, that's it for class one. Make your pose. All right, take your seats, class one. So how many video games did we have there? Oh, uh, I think we had about three video games. Super Mario Land, Pokemon, what's the third, Frozen? Uh, have you played the Frozen video game? Uh, I think that's winning all the awards. <laughs> See who can melt the fastest. That'd be great stuff. All right, up next is class two ready. Class two is Mickey Mouse and Friends. Is class two ready? All right, come on up, class two. This is grade three. Mickey Mouse and from ho, 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 it's Mickey Mouse. All right, first up, Chua, is Minnie Mouse. Yeah, I wrote that wrong. Huh? Oh, oh, good job, Minnie. You're looking pretty good today. Well done, Minnie. <laughs> Next is Brandon with Donald Duck. <laughs> what an adorable outfit. <laughs> Up next, it is Dogon as Pluto the dog. Oh, gee, Mickey, that's pretty special. Next is Dogon with Dale. And Semi as Chip. Take a bow, class two. Well done, Mickey Mouse's friends and Mickey Mouse. Now, Daniel, are Minnie and Mickey siblings or are they married? Oh, I think they're siblings, but one might be adopted. Aha. Uh -huh. Are they twins? Uh, possibly. Possibly. Now, if they are possibly twins, that would explain my error. I don't know if you guys noticed the eagle-eared of you. No, 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 that doesn't make sense. The eagle-eyed and the bat-eared, I suppose. Might have noticed that I said Jua was Minnie. That was a mistake. Jua was Mickey. She was so persuasive. Uh, all right, here we have Wreck-It Ralph, class three, grade four. Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> All right, first up, we have Jenny as Vanellope. <laughs> Crumbelina de Caramel. <laughs> Vanellope, so sweet she's treacly. Who we got next? Next is Grace with Crumbelina de Caramello. Cambalina de Caramello. Yes. All right, 
Here we have Shiho as Rancis Fluggerbutter. I had a friend growing up named Rancis Fluggerbutter. I think he really captured the character there. Next is Lucas with Rick and Ralph. The man of the hour. Don't let him anywhere near your Lego set. All right, now we've got the Donut Police to protect and preserve. It's Daniel and Eden, the Donut Police. Next is Hannah with Candleheads. This girl is on fire. <laughs> Up next, it's Zoe, Jubilina Bing Bing. It just rolls off the tongue. Jubilina Bing Bing. More like Jubilina Bling Bling. And here we have Mr. Jake as Fix It Felix. Go ahead and take a bow and do your pose, class three. Do you have a pose? As a class? Everybody's pose. One, two, three. All right. Thank you very much, class three. Take your seats. All right. I'm all hopped up on sugar now. Uh, Daniel, if you could be any one of the characters from Wreck-It Ralph, who would you be? Uh, I hope to be fixed, Felix. What have you fixed recently? Uh, I fixed my relationship with my peers recently. Oh. Very good, very good. Maybe we can talk about that some other day. <laughs> All right, up next we have Class Four with a very special demonstration of all the various Pororo characters. Are you ready, Class Four, for Pororo? For those of you who are not in class four, let's give a big round of applause for Pororo! <laughs> All right, first up, we've got Pororo himself, Sua! Is it not? And Aiden as Krong. Next up is Tong as Lupi. That is straight charisma. Up next, it's Rebecca as Petty. Next is Ella with Eddie. 
and Lucy Azroni. <laughs> and next is Sehi with Harry. And last but not least, it's Mr. Tommy as Poppy. <laughs> All right, class four, do you want to strike a pose in three, two, one, pose? All right. That's it for the fifth graders. Thank you very much, cast of Pororo. Now, Daniel, I couldn't help but notice one of the Pororo characters' names was Harry. Now, is that R-R-Y or I-R-Y? I think it's R-R-Y. Are you sure that it's not just a Harry person? Uh, oh. Ah, look oh. at that. I got a special delivery because I'm on vacation. <laughs> I am rest. All right. As we rest and as we enjoy this lovely afternoon and all these lovely performances, remember to brush your teeth, comb your hair, wash daily, and uh, this special announcement is from the rest of your peers and your classmates. They will thank you for it. All right. On to the next one. This is class five. Oh my goodness. We've got a powerhouse. Coming up, straight from Mount Olympus, it's the Greek mythology! Wow, just oozing with power! All right, first up, it's the god of the sun, Apollo, played by, nope, they're out of order. Persephone, I'm out of order. Persephone as Lena, Lena as Persephone. Yeah. The goddess of the underworld, the wife of, doesn't matter. All right, here we, this time, it is the god of the sun, Apollo, Daniel. Is your hand very sweaty? <laughs> All right. Thank you for keeping the lights on, Apollo. Up next. It's Athena, nope, never mind, it's Hestia Luna. Yeah, it's not the order I expected. All right, get your party cups ready, but not too ready. It's Dionysus Luke. Who is it? Oh, that's Sophia. Oh, that's Sophia. Oh, okay. Masha, 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 Masha. Uh, Steady there, Dionysus. Who do we have here? We have Sophia as Athena. Whoa, Athena. Now there's a gal who knows how to take care of herself. Strong, independent woman, Athena is. All right, here is the man, the myth, the legend, Zeus! Jace! Better not cross him. 
Next is Chloe as Artemis. Goddess of the hunt, I believe. Could be wrong there. I think she saw shot somebody. Aha. Uh -huh. You think she saw somebody? Yes. Not to be confused with Cupid. How generous. Ah. Uh, she is a generous goddess. Well done, Artemis. Up next, we have Joshua as the god of the sea, Poseidon! Make it rain, Poseidon! A little bit lower on the Richter scale, but no less charming, it's Grace as Demeter. <laughs> and here we have the one that started it all, Gaia, Miss Angela. The goddess of the earth. All right, Greek gods and goddesses, will you take a pose or a bow? Either one's fine. Three, two, one. Very nice, very nice. Now you can go. Now, which of the Greek gods would you want to be, Daniel? Oh, uh, I hope to be Zeus, if I could be. But isn't that power kind of a hassle? You know, no chansoria, tap tap hair. Because your wife, Hera, she's always nagging you. But I think I could be a tyrant over the people. I think you could be too. We'll ask your friends if they feel the same way. In fact, let's see, from, uh, from the MCU, would you like to have Daniel as a Zeus? Raise your hand if you think Daniel would be a good Zeus. Raise your hand if you think Daniel would be a terrible tyrant. I think the people have spoken. Maybe we'll just give you some wings on your feet and make you Mercury, or Hermes. All right, up next. This is a big one. This is a big animal universe, a big animal metropolis. It's Zootopia! Make some noise! Class 6, grade 7 and 8. It's a big one. It's a megalopolis called Zootopia. <laughs> All right, we're going to try everything. First up, it's Ellie as Mrs. Hops and Machiku as Mr. Hops. Oh. A most prolific coupling. Oh. Down and get up. Next is Joel as Otterton. Oh. I just love otters, don't you, Daniel? They are very cute. They are very cute. Excellent, excellent. I love how otters hold hands. Next, it's Michael as Yaks. Now that is one swaggy yak. Just oozing charisma. He is ready for Milan. Next is Justin G as Mr. Big and Timothy as Musclove the Polar Bear. Oh. 
Very nice, very nice. You don't want to mess with Mr. Big. All right, here we have a predator. It's Justin Hahn as the wolf. He looks like a howler. Who have we got now? Next is Dio as Chief Bogo and Gian as Clawhauser. <laughs> Committed to the bit. Did he dye his hair? I don't know. But I'll bet if he went to the savannah on a safari, the lions wouldn't touch him. All right, here we have Joseph as Duke Weaselton. Into as Finnick, the fox. I don't know if he's a fox you can trust. All right, now here we have a very stylish sheep, bellwether Victoria. Next up is Brooke as Nick the Fox and Dorothy as Judy Hawk. And now, coming in at the speed of 1990s internet, it's Flash the Sloth. Dr. Stone! Six, do you have a pose in three, two, one? All right, you may go. Wait till the sequel. Was there a Zootopia too? Oh, I don't think so, but I think they might be working on it right they now. They are probably working on it. You know what else they're working on is Toy Story 5. Whoa. Basically, every time Disney's in trouble, they say, let's make another Toy Story movie. <laughs> All right, let's see, Zootopia. You know, Zootopia was a pleasant surprise. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I felt the same way about Wreck-It Ralph. Sometimes Disney is kind of running out of gas and then they release an original movie like Frozen. It's like, oh, that's actually pretty good. And then they just get stuck in a circle and they make the same movie three times. And uh, anyways, let's move on to another Disney movie, except this one's Pixar. It's Inside Out Class 7. Come on up, Inside Out. So many emotions, my goodness. All right, first up, Joy Emma. Next 
of sadness as Yesung. Oh no. So sad. Don't get too angry, but it's Ali as Anga. The internet's too slow, the cars are too fast, the noise is too loud, the food is too cold. What isn't wrong with this world? Next is Esther as Disgust. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> ah, it's fear, Enoch. Next up is Hoyeon as Anxiety. All right. Don't get too jealous, but it's Envy, Judy. Oh. It's itchy. Next is Eunice as Embarrassment. That about captures it. All right, next up it is Henri Soul. I am too cool for this school. I'm surprised she even came to the, 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 the talent show, huh? Henri, keep looking at your phone, huh? Nothing is cool enough for you. Next is Sarah as Nostalgia. She's got all the cool dance moves. All right, and here is Riley, Miss Phoebe. All right, emotions, strike your pose in three, two, one. All right, well done, Inside Out. <laughs> Woo, that's a lot of emotions. How do you feel? I feel over-emotioned. Over-emotioned. Do you talk about emotions very much, Daniel? No, I'm very indifferent to all You're audience. very indifferent. You know, it's not surprising that that's not one of the emotions because it's literally the absence of emotion. No, uh, that's right. Now, which of the emotions did you find yourself identifying the most with in the movie? Oh, uh, I feel like I am mostly sadness. That's too bad. Is there a joke that made you laugh especially from the most recent Inside Out movie? Oh, uh, I have a joke prepared, but not that. From the inside out. Ah, I really liked the sarcasm. Ha ha. <laughs> We're so glad you could help us out. That was good. Anyways, uh, moving on. I am so glad you're my host, Daniel. You're doing such a great job. No, in all seriousness, you are doing a great job. All right. Uh, you better get on with your Mr. Chris impersonation because it's class eight with the MCU, the Mr. Chris universe.
Is that Mr. Chris's actual uniform? <laughs> All right, first up, it's military Mr. Chris with Mr. Chris's actual uniform. Up next is Daniel Ponytail, Mr. Chris. <laughs> Up next, it's Rena as Cool, Mr. Chris. Very nice. Up next, it's Leo as Smug Tourist, Mr. Chris. <laughs> All right, here's Tiffany, Selfie, Mr. Chris. Mr. Chris spends a little too much time online. All right, here's Brian as Beanie, Mr. Chris. So adorable. Up next, it's Iran, Irene, Iran, as early to mid 2000s, Mr. Chris. Diploma Chris. All right, here is Philip as sentimental, Mr. Chris. All right, now we have Paul and Sean as housewife cosplay, Mr. Chris. I'll say that again, housewife cosplay, Mr. Chris. And here we have Mr. Chris's adorable turtle, Cobbly. <laughs> All right, Mr. Chris. Strike a pose in three, two, one. And you may go now. All right, let's give a big hand to all the Chris's. The most interesting man in the world, the man with many dimensions. Did you guys know, I just learned this yesterday, this is very interesting. That song that you just heard, Mr. Chris with his glasses on, that was an original composition with a little bit of help from AI by... Artlist. T Tiffany. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, with the help of a little bit of technology, made that song. That's pretty cool. It's catchy. Mr. Chris with his glasses on. All right, we are going to pivot a little bit to something that happened a little bit earlier than the birth of Mr. Chris. Even a little bit earlier than the birth of 
any of the teachers at this school, or the school itself, or the world itself, we're going back to the very beginning. The creation. The creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of I didn't get things out of order, did I? No, this is great. Yeah, yeah. Over the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Come on up, grade 11, the seven days of creation. And God said, let there be light. as day one. <laughs> Next is James as Sky and Clouds. Day two. The third day, God made Ginny, no, not quite, but plants and vegetation. <laughs> On the fourth day, God made the stars and the planets. On day five, it is Daniel with birds and fish. On the sixth day, God made land animals and man. Precious! On day seven, God rested and his Mr. John. gone on a little long. It's been a whole week. All right, everybody, let's pose in three, two, one. All right, you are dismissed. Thank you. Oops. You see what I did there with the apple? That's you. called foreshadowing. And this is called eating. <laughs> All right, up next is class 10, Despicable Me. is Mr. Joseph as Gru. Very powerful. All right.
right, first of the daughters, it's Lois as Margot. <laughs> the second daughter is Ida as Eden. <laughs> All right, here we have Julie as Agnes. All right, here we have all three of the minions. Caleb, Stewart, Peter, Kevin, and Jason. Ah, cute mischief. So good. All right. All right, Minions! Tonight, we steal the moon! All right, well done, Class 10. Was that your pose? Okay, you may go. How is the apple, Mr. John? Oh, it's great. What you look for in an apple is a good crunch. Now, on a scale of one to 10, rate this crunch. Whoa. That's a solid eight. <laughs> I agree. And how would you rate this afternoon? Uh, I don't think we have enough numbers to rate this. Oh, very good answer, very good. No <laughs> mucho. All played. right, well, that is it. How about we give one more round of applause for all the excellent characters.